Hello and welcome back to the Cowboy Cactus. Today we'll be doing a tutorial on iZombie for speedrunning puzzles. Um, there will be more videos for iZombie, Last Stand, and Base Breaker, but we're starting with iZombie. I'm doing this more so I can remember these strategies than help you, but if this helps you speedrun the game, then I'm glad I could help. So we're going to start with the first one, which is the last one. All your brains belong to us. You want a free sunflower up top, but you also want the magnet to spawn in one or two notches down here because you can get a cone head to go through that. Um, so then you would do that, or you place down both cone heads to hit both of them. You would then do a football zombie here. Again, speedrun trying to go fast. Um, then you want to try to get 300 sun, which is challenging, so you kind of got to wait a little bit for that you could put a football zombie actually you know what i'm gonna do that because that might be faster i don't know you want to put a football zombie there on that row either way that's the strategy to get that row but it does slow you down on this row so then you would want to wait oh that's annoying the triple p spawned as far back as it could which slows this down um yeah We'll sacrifice another one, we'll place this guy here, and then after that, like, it's pretty basic after that, you can just kind of slowly stagger these guys. This now doesn't need to be staggered because there's no more squashes, um, I don't know if this was a good strategy guy as much as it should be, but that's pretty much the basic gist. You gotta wait for the one sunflower up here, magnet can be in the first two notches on this bottom column, and then football zombie football zombie two ladder zombies on the tall nut and then a bunch of imps on the other two rows so i hope that helps three hit wonder i've been tr fiddling with this one recently um you kind of want a magnet in a dead row as i call it so basically you know i'll see if i can find a dead row for you like i said this is unrefined but basically you want the magnets in a good position in this one and then you kind of just uh, brute force it with ladders the rest of the way that's about the best way i can describe it because i don't know how else to i don't really use bucket heads i don't use miners or whatever bungee zombies and it's not very helpful but you kind of just want one second let me see if i can find it there was a good example i had when i was doing this earlier see I don't know if you want to have both magnets in the same place because it does allow you to get them at the same time See this could work because all the magnets are at the bottom, but uh, Wow, I am getting really unlucky with these See right here this right here is a dead row It has no pea shooter so you can just spend 50 Sun and get basically 300 for free um, Then you would want to sacrifice here and then you would want to Get rid of this guy, go there, sacrifice, then cone head. I, that should have been a cone head because he's not getting through there, so that was a mistake there. Um, then you want a double ladder there, got a cone head there, got a, I guess actually a ladder there would make more sense because I waste so much sun because you would want a ladder up there too to speed up these, so. I might have ruined it by placing those two cone heads and then placing the ladder, but you get what I mean. Like, it's pretty basic. Um, boogie, oh god, this one. Uh, see, this one tripped me up for a while. This is a free row down here, so we can actually, all these are free rows, so I guess to find the sunflowers at the front. Um, <sighs> completely honest with you, I don't know if there's a good strategy for this one. It's get the free sun at the front, um, and then dagger your guys if there's potato mines and bulk them together if there's only chompers in a row and when you get a mix you kind of just have to play it off of ear i think is the best way to sum up the strategy on this one because you gotta slowly work your way forwards um i did see them use a lot more bolt jumpers but i don't know if there's really a magic way to save a lot of time on this in that case because you can skip over the final ones and they're faster so i guess you should use those near the end if you want to save time which you probably would if you're trying to do a speedrun actually and i missed the brain down there but that sums up my strategy uh eat the free sun at the beginning 
and then stagger them if there's potato mines and cramp them together if it's only chompers. Use bun or the pole jumpers at the end of the level, I think. I don't, you don't want to overuse them, but that's kind of the vague strategy there. Um, so basically what you want to do is place two bungee zombies always in those two rows. The ice pea shooter does make this problematic. You could probably restart and get different uh, plants in those areas because I had a fire torch and what else did I have in the other one? I think it was a, just a regular pea shooter. But then you want to put the gargantuans in the three rows. Ooh, right there, that does make it. A squash is annoying there. And so are those. Okay. Um, let's restart. Let's see. Okay, wow, these are two perfect middles. Does make the other rows harder though. So, Gargantuan. And you wait. And you put down another Gargantuan. The butters are the annoying thing, so if you can either stack a bunch of zombies or if you can get them early in the gargantuan push that'd be great same with the ice pea shooters those are always annoying um you could put a pole jumper if you really want to <laughs> like not much to do after that you got the three gargantuans that might be the fastest and easiest way like i said you kind of want to stack the <sighs> row with the, uh, the corn and that's probably about it Okay, that's me smash, so now we're on to Dead Zeppelin, which, okay, yep. Ah, this one's fun, okay, because, see, I don't know what you want to try to get for a reset. I mean, this is pretty good, because you can just double stack and get the cactus, and then you got that entire row. Um, definitely want to balloon these two rows, maybe get try to get some sun, but other than that, there's not much you can do there. One, two, three, yep, oh, that's worth it, so we'll, you know, that, and then, I guess double stack there, and then balloon here. Like, you don't even necessarily need to deal with the magnet, because you can just double stack uh, regular zombies, they're cheaper, and it does more damage. You probably would want to put a balloon there quicker, but you get what I mean. So, I guess, try to get the cactuses on the front which I know is challenging but if you can do that you can kind of just double stack that and you'll get them I mean you could even single stack them actually wow you don't even need to double stack in that case which means you can just go double stack on these I guess and balloon the rest of the way perfect setup with a cactus and only four sun or this right here with four sun being in a row because that's very likely. Whatever, we're moving on to the next level. I spent enough time on this one. Didn't give you a great strategy, but it's kind of what it is. Um, totally nuts. Ah, uh, yes, this one. I, God, I hated this one. Um, I want to get lucky, like right there or here. Ah, I kind of want a normal pea shooter. You want a single pea shooter in a row better if they're up front but you can kind of work with it if they're one back i think and then you want to do the same thing on the other side and then gotta double up here with them same with the middle so ah crap see i don't know if that's necessary on the one side there and then in the middle you kind of just want to send as many zombies as you can you can just like power over anything else i know the fume shrooms do a lot of damage to all zombies but if you can just send a lot of them they'll eat them before they all die is the best way i can sum it up um yeah but basically you just want the pea shooters up front like this in this row right here uh, ice pea shooters you can work with apparently, but uh, actually, let me. Can you do a single ladder on the ice? Because I have a feeling this isn't gonna work right here. 
So for double pea shooters, you need more than just one. Because you're not getting through there. Okay, so normal pea shooter, you can send the ladder on any row at any point wherever the normal pea shooter is. Double pea shooter, you need two. Ice pea shooter, you need two. So you kind of got to get lucky. This row works, none of the rest will do. So you got to get lucky and have multiple of those rows. Okay, does that work? The ice pea shooter being immediate? Uh, this is really nice. It's actually synchronized. I'm gonna assume it does because you can get to it immediately. Yeah, that works. It's a lot slower though, so you wouldn't want it. Um, okay, both of these work. Either ice pea shooters at the front or normal pea shooters anywhere. Just one though. Can't do two. Other than that, that's pretty much totally nuts dealt with. So now on to can you dig it? Which, oh lord. Okay, so we got a dead row right there. So obviously you would take that. And then there's no magnets. So I guess you would just kind of bucket head your way through this one. Um, yeah, I don't, this isn't a good example. I'm going to be honest because it's kind of really spread out. Um, well, wow, this one free row right here, but you want the pea shooters up front because that makes it a lot easier, but that's also pretty uncommon i'm guessing now wow i okay what is with these starting levels that are almost like perfect cases where you can just get a freebie i don't have a good strategy for this one i'm gonna be honest it's kind of touch and go where you want to send two zombies together if you can get a single pea shooter that includes eating the one immediately that also works um does that work where you can get to there immediately yep okay that one works too so if it's a single pea shooter but it does not work if the torchwood and the pea shooter are farther back. Um, zombies, in this case, it would be that one down there because it's only a torchwood and a pea shooter. And then go. Uh, I guess this one's also a free lane up here. And then you kind of just want to use bucket heads for the rest of the level because you should, in theory, have enough sun in a way. I've been recording for 30 minutes. Oh my god. Yeah, you just want to bucket head up here and here. This one you would want to send an extra zombie with him just so he speeds up. Um, see, this one you could do something really stupid and sacrifice the mining zombie just to get rid of the potato mine so you can get through it faster. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, get through the one or two lanes with double these guys, and then you can just double bucket head every other lane. So, yeah, alright. That's done. So now what level are we on? I think that was, can you dig it? So I zombie 2 which is just pretty basic. You want to use screen doors here. Um, don't know if it matters much. You can kind of just screen door. Yeah, okay. So two spikes, you got to send multiple zombies. Holy cow. Oh, my voice is dying. <laughs> oh, got a free row right there. Like I said, sometimes that happens, right? You just take it. Um, but basically, you just send a screen door down a row and take it. I think screen doors can take on two pea shooters, so yeah, uh, it can take on two, or it can take on a spike, I think. So I'm pretty sure that row's active. Uh, this one you would just want two. This one you need bucket head, so you would just send that down there, and then I mean, if I'm wrong. All right, screen doors can handle one spike. So if it's only one spike in a row, you can just send a screen door down there. Bucket heads are only needed for the two spike rows. So on that, this is a pretty basic thing. Just send multiple screen doors down each link. All right, and on to the final level, which is the first one, Eye Zombie, and then you get Crazy Dave talking to you because, uh-huh. Um, hmm, what would you want to do here? I don't know, let me see if I can Oh my gosh, wait, Crazy Dave talks every time. Okay, so you kind of want to take what you get automatically. Um, as, yeah, like I said, this one's going to be really easy. It's, oh wow, that's a free lane up there. Basically, it's have the squashes sac be sacrificed with these guys, so you can just get rid of it. Um, football zombie, those lanes without the squashes immediately. Um, gotta sacrifice, like I said. Gotta want to send a football zombie ever down every lane though, because you'll have enough sun. They give you ample sun to do that. 
and just send as many football zombies if there's a nice pea shooter so it goes faster. Or you could send it down the other lane, but, you know, pretty basic. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope that this video helped you understand how to do these faster, because it definitely helped me build vague strategies for all of them. Um, again, I hope it helps. If it doesn't, sorry. Um, if you're interested in more of this content, I'm going to do more on less stand levels, on how you want to set up, and base breaker levels. These ones I'm not looking forward to. Base breaker is the one that I've struggled the most with, with trying to speedrun all puzzles. But yeah, those will be coming out probably Saturday, Sunday, I think would be the next time I can upload, or yeah, probably Saturday, Sunday, but yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Cowboy Cactus signing out. Peace.